have an eye for coconut pie, a thing for luscious lemon, or banana cream. Favorite pie would probably be the Oreo cookie pie. Chocolate, chocolate booster. Apple pie, gotta go with the classic. <laughs> the pastry case at the Texan Cafe and Pie Shop is always packed with at least 20 different to die for homemade pies, sometimes more. They're all good. <laughs> They're all good. The racks are filled with mounds of chocolate cream, the pretty pink peppermint patty, or this candy bar throwback made with Butterfingers. It tastes do. just like a Butterfinger. I know, and it doesn't just get, like yes. it. That pie was really good, but it was the dark chocolate cherry pie that brought my taste buds to attention. Mmm, that's good. Oh, whoa. I know. <laughs> Landmark Cafe in the heart of historic downtown Hutto is a slice of Americano and totally Texan. Check out Ferdinand the Bull towering over the front door. The scratch kitchen here turns out country cooking so good, it's earned the cover of Southern Living Magazine and a spot on Texas Monthly's list of the 40 best small town cafes. Chicken fried chicken up. Texan Cafe has also earned a soft spot in the hearts of locals. This is home cooking at its excellence. 92 year old World War II veteran George Taylor should know. He ate at the Texan Cafe every day. It has super home Food. Former corporate execs Warren and Jenny Smith know firsthand too. They were customers first before they bought the restaurant. So what did you want to do by opening a restaurant? Because this is not what you're used to. <laughs> it's really not, but um, it's something that I've always wanted to do. I love to cook and um, people would tell me, you need to open a restaurant for years and years and years. Um, and when I left corporate America, my wife said, what are we going to do? And well, here we are. The Smiths kept the same staff and really didn't change a thing in this beloved neighborhood spot. What do you love about it? It's the people. It's that interaction every day with someone new. And it's the smiles on their faces when they eat your food. It's been a true blessing because we traveled so much with our previous jobs working in the corporate world. And now our children are grown and we have grandchildren. And so we're able to see our grandchildren grow up. The cafe still serves the same time-honored recipes locals love, using the freshest ingredients they can find like this crisp cob salad, or the glazed ham steak, drizzled in root beer sauce. The Smiths have added juicy steaks, including this whopping 16 ounce T-bone, paired here with a puffy golden brown homemade yeast roll. Homestyle cooking like mom and grandma used to make. Grandma would be proud of these fried green tomatoes coated in a cornmeal crust. Beware. They come with a fun kick. Mmm. Those are fun. You can't call yourself Texan without featuring a respectable chicken fried steak. And boy, do they have a good one. We learned there's a right and a wrong way to make it. It's seasoned with a little bit of salt, pepper, and some garlic, as well as some other various secret ingredients that yeah, I, can uh, I can't smell tell it. you right now. The steak gets double dipped in egg. too chewy. Oh, so that's why, okay, mm -hmm. I was just kind of giving it a nice pat. There's a secret to how you cook it, too. So what you're going to do is you want to slide it in. Slide it yeah. in? Yeah. A uh, little bit of a knack to this. Boom, just like that. Boom. Four to five minutes later, and it's golden brown perfection. Mm -hmm. Ching, ching. Cheese. <laughs> oh, that really is good. Mm -hmm. This really is so much like home. Very nice, thank you. So whether you're craving country cooking or just want to say hi to the Smith, they'll be waiting for you in Hutto with a big old slice of their famous pies. The best food in town, great pie, awesome food. The best place for pies.